Have you ever wondered where your garbage goes? In the past, much of our garbage was disposed of in one of seven region-owned landfills. Over time, these sites have been closed, and Durham no longer depends on landfills as our primary waste disposal option. Now, garbage goes to the Durham York Energy Center to generate electricity through incineration and to recover metals for recycling the garbage. This reduces the amount of material being sent for disposal. Even more importantly, our waste diversion programs such as recycling and composting are handling more and more. You might wonder, if the landfill is closed, why can't we just cover them with dirt and ignore them? There can be environmental concerns with landfills if they are not taken care of, because these landfills were built at a time before modern regulations were in effect. For example, decomposing waste produces methane, which is a greenhouse gas that significantly contributes to climate change. Plus, contaminants in the waste could leach into the groundwater or end up in rivers, wetlands, and lakes. So what does the region do at the closed landfills to keep our environment safe? Every site has its own customized monitoring plan and is managed to protect human health and the environment. In 2018, the region began an innovative project using landfill mining to improve conditions at the Blackstock landfill. What is landfill mining? Landfill mining is a process where waste in the landfill is excavated, processed, and treated or recycled. Mined waste that wasn't recycled was sent to the Durham York Energy Center and modern landfill sites for disposal, resulting in fewer gas emissions and removing the waste as a potential source of contamination. This protects the environment and will reduce the need for long-term groundwater monitoring at the Blackstock site. So how was this done? The project team first identified what waste was buried and how much of it was there by digging small test pits. Using technologies such as electromagnetic surveys and ground-penetrating radar, they were able to see what was in the ground. Once they knew what to expect, the crew removed the good soil from the area and put it aside for later. Then the process of excavating and separating the landfill's old waste began. All the dug-up ground and waste was put into a rotating trummel screen to sift out any soil. The remaining waste was physically separated into recyclable materials like tires, concrete, and scrap metal, materials that could be burned for energy, and other non-burnable inert materials like brick and ceramics, which are safe to landfill. Once all of the waste was mined, sorted, and taken away, the hole was refilled with the remaining soil. The final step for this project included returning the site to natural conditions through grading, seeding, and planting native trees and shrubs, as well as creating food sources and habitats for wildlife, including a snake hibernaculum and turtle nesting area. So, what's next? Durham Region is committed to ensuring the safety of the community and our environment. In addition to regular monitoring, the region continues to look for better ways to manage the closed landfill sites under our care. Because waste doesn't disappear, it needs to be managed responsibly. It's important to remember that how we choose to manage waste today impacts the future. Residents are encouraged to rethink, reduce, reuse, recycle, and compost. <laughs>